Subramaniam Swami is joining us on the phone line. Mr. Swami, what do you make of what has transpired in the courts today? Four attempts being made as far as mentioning is concerned, but the court uh, has not really accepted the plea or not heard this entire matter in the manner in which the lawyers or the legal team of Mr. P. Chidambaram were demanding. Well, see, the moment uh, Mr. Chidambaram went underground, I think uh, he has lost all respect in uh, the entire society. So, therefore, uh, uh, I'm not surprised that the court is not taking it very seriously. In, uh, in any case, if he's underground, the question of his being arrested doesn't arise. And uh, only if he, he surfaces and then he gets uh, arrested, well, then he can apply for bail immediately. Otherwise, if he is not arrested and uh, he appears in court, then the court uh, could uh, consider. They may not agree now. But they could consider giving him bail. But so, uh, after the High Court's uh, very well-documented, well-reasoned uh, order, I don't think any Supreme Court is going to give him uh, uh, anticipatory bail. So the question is this, that uh, at a time when, in fact, notices have been issued to him, summons have been issued to him, uh, at a time like this, and when the hearing is still on Friday, can Mr. Chidamram continue to, you know, be uh, away from the scene, be absconding as, uh, in fact, is being alleged, uh, when, in fact, uh, the matter is yet to come up? There's still another 36 hours to go for the matter to be heard or taken up by the Supreme Court, and that is uh, if it's taken up at the earliest point in time by the Apex Court. Well, I think uh, Mr. Chidambaram appears to be under pressure from somewhere else. People are afraid that in custodial interrogation you'll spill the beans. And that's why uh, uh, he's, uh, he's under pressure. Has anyone asked him, uh, please uh, 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 appear before the CBI and uh, uh, let us, we'll face it uh, thereafter. We'll make the arrest as an issue. No one is doing that in the Congress party. They're all saying that uh, this is a, it is a, uh, we are at fault in wanting to arrest him. <laughs> so, therefore, I think there is some panic in the Congress leadership. If Mr. Chidambaram is arrested and subject to, uh, uh, to uh, interrogate, uh, custodial interrogation, he might spill the beans. Right. And also, sir, the f fact is that the, uh, many are also observing the manner in which the lawyers have o approached the apex court. They have every right to do so. But this is not what normally happens as far as a common citizen is concerned, is it? It's not like anybody can walk into the apex court and get a hearing on the same day on such a sensitive matter. But they didn't get it. The court is also aware, aware that this is a criminal matter. It's not a question of some hate speech or some... Uh, a defamation case or something. It's a it's a matter of where uh, the society's resources have been squandered into your own pockets. Uh, that is the uh, the you know court, court will take that seriously. And I will again go back and say that the uh, High Court may have taken time to give the judgment, but it has been so thoroughly uh, analyzed. I think uh, it will be very difficult for any court to give uh, uh, anticipatory bail now. Right. Also, uh, Mr. Swami, you would have seen this morning, Abhishek Manu Singhvi, who is one of the counsels for Mr. P. Chidamram, has said that we should not be jumping to conclusions. Mr. Rahul Gandhi has called uh, you know, a section of media all sorts of names. But the fact is, Mr. Singhvi, who claimed that Mr. P. Chidamram was with him till late last evening and that he is not absconding, now what happens to those statements that had come in from his legal team? Because uh, uh, it has been now more than 24 hours or close to 24 hours since Mr. P. Chidamram has been seen anywhere in public. Well, Singhvi is his lawyer, so he can tell any number of lies to protect his candidate. I mean, his, his client. So I, I don't think we can hold it against him. We don't have to take him seriously. I would not uh, like you to interview lawyers of Mr. Chidamram. How can they ever say anything which is truthful and which will be harmful to his candidate, their client? All right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Subramanian Swami, for joining us on the broadcast this evening. We have some breaking news coming in.